All right, guys, I made it up here. Sunday, uh, Sunday, no, it's uh, Memorial Day, 25th of May, 2015. Here's the, here's the subject heater that needs the work, so <clears throat> I don't know how this video will come out. I'll just uh, do my best anyway. A couple screws up here at the top of the heater. This is an Atwood, and I believe the model is uh, 8535 two but I'm gonna find that out for sure when I open it up here and look at the label couple screws here fairly straightforward on this part door flips down and then this flips down so let's see what do we got here 8535 two model 85 Two, eighty-five, thirty-five, two. So I'll need to know that for uh, getting the the part. So first off, what do we start with? I'm going to take off this uh, exhaust vent. It just has a wing nut here, and you just need to loosen it, and then this exhaust vent should pull out. That was fairly darn easy. So you don't want any cobwebs or anything down in here. I'll blow that out. It actually looks pretty clean. Set that to the side. And that way I can get to uh, this side of the fan. And then I need to take off this, this plastic plate here. So I need a flathead screwdriver. Long enough to reach up in there. Or a socket head would even be better yet. But I don't think I brought a... I don't know. We'll just go with the screwdriver. This, uh, this has four screws. If you can get to them. And the tricky part here is... If you're not using the socket driver is just to uh, <laughs> make sure you don't lose these screws this uh, this is a piece of plastic this black blower cover and these wires are in the way so makes it kind of tricky not to lose the screws so there's one And two. There we go. Tried to lose it, but I found it. Two. Three. These are easy to get so you don't lose them because they're sitting right on the bottom there. But there's three. Here's four. Four screws there, and then uh, off to the left side here, you want to unplug the power that goes to, the, or the uh, plug that goes to the circuit board, and this red wire here goes to the igniter. And then, uh, I know you can't see it, but up in here is another wing nut. You can just take this off by hand. If you ever have to replace the control board, this is how you do it. Those two, the plug and the igniter cord. And then this board pops right out. So I need to get that all blown off, blow all the dust and everything off there. But this is the circuit board inside this plastic if you have to replace that. But my circuit board, I believe, is fine. So again, we'll set that off to the side along with the wing nut so I don't lose that. That allows you to access the left side of the blower fan. <clears throat> Let me see if I can hold this camera up in here and show you. So inside this lid, and this is really dirty, I need to clean this up. This little switch here is called the sail switch. I'm moving that with my thumb. So when the blower turns on, it blows this switch down, which actually tells the uh, 
circuit board that it the fan is turning and it's okay to light light the burner so I need to clean all this dust out of here on this cell switch and maybe test that for ohms but I think it's good so anyway and then here's a circuit breaker right here on the on the fan to the main power so I just need to hold this out of the way and see what's see what's going on with this guys this fan this fan is loose the motor is inside the fan right there I don't know if you can see it but in there I don't have very good lighting here so I need to get that motor out of there so the first thing I need to do is spin this fan around and I can reach a wrench through, or a, an allen wrench through that hole and loosen a, a, a grub screw that's on that fan and I have to do the same thing on the other side there's a there's a fan right there and it's got the same deal through this hole right here I reach a wrench through there and undo a grub screw so that's what I'm gonna do next okay yeah there we go hopefully I have the right size Allen wrench that's the question so let's test one out and see what happens here too small It's too small too. They might be metric. I really honestly don't know. But I did bring both, so hopefully I have the one. This looks too big. Yeah, that's definitely too big. That's too small. Yeah, too small. Alright, let's bust out the metrics and see if I got one of those that'll work. Looks like it might be this one. Not long enough. Yeah, it's long enough. Looks like that's the one, but boy, it's tight. So, what I'm going to do... Is put a small wrench on my Allen driver. Let's see if that'll bust it loose. big Certainly one of these will fit. Seven sixty-four standard. Nope, too small. short unbelievable well that feels like that's in there let's try the wrench again on this one there we go Whew, I'm starting to sweat that a little bit all right let's see 
I don't want to pull this all the way out, just loosen up the fan so that I can slide it off of the shaft. That was 1 8 Allen head wrench. Let me toss these back in here. And then loosen the other side. All right. Try this one in the slot provided, and I need the wrench on that too. There we go. All right, loosen that, and then I should, with some persuasion, be able to. Pull that fan off of there. There we go. There's the fan. And it's dirty. It could use a cleaning. But that's what the blower fan looks like. Set that to the side. And here's the motor. And it looks pretty nasty. I'm pretty sure that the bushings or bearings are shot on it. So the next thing I need to do is unplug these two wires so I've got uh, positive and negative so the red one on the bottom you guys don't forget that so you can tell me that when I put this back together red on the bottom yellow on the top and then up here right there where my fingers are pointing is a screw that kind of pinches this cage down around the motor so I need to loosen that and then hopefully wiggle the heck out of that motor and pull it out of there. So that's what I'm going to do next. All right. That just has a flathead screw on it. I don't think I need to pull it all the way out. Now that motor is definitely shot. So let's loosen this screw. This is just like a like a big clamp basically. Turn that down a little bit so I got some room to uh, pull that electrical part out. Matter of fact I'm gonna pull that screw all the way out. Don't lose it. Set it aside and then pull this clamp down out of the way. The hard part is getting it over this little electrical plug-in spot here. Screwdriver. Pop that out. Come on, baby. There we go. All right. So. I've got that pulled down out of the way. I can, I'm gonna go get a rag and then get a grip on that motor and wiggle it and see if I can pull it out of this other side of the fan here. Old t-shirt and grab a hold of that bad boy. And it's coming out nice, was still connected to the fan on this other side <clears throat> that's going to be the hard part to bust that loose let's see what do I... well, let me monkey around with that if i get that shaft loose out of that other side of the fan it'll come right out of there so i'm gonna mess around with that and then i'll get right back to you all right <clears throat> i got it so that was an adventure actually wasn't too bad once i figured it out i don't know if I can get this to shine in there, but the center hub of that fan right there, I don't know if you can see that black mark on it. What I had to do was hold a match in there, a wooden match, stick match, on this hub. 30 seconds to a minute. I just held the match as long as I could before it burnt my fingers to heat up the outside of part of that hub. 
and then I took on this side a screwdriver right in here between the motor and this plate and pried and boom it popped right out so here's the motor and let me set the stand up I'll show you set this tripod up so here's the motor and the shaft you can see the play in that shaft thing is trashed bearings are just toast this side's okay but this side is gone so this side's not bad but you can hear the horrible noise see that thing bouncing around so right here is where the power wires plug in and uh, so now I just need to take this back to town looks like I got a model number or something here on it right in here probably can't see it on the uh, camera but I will take that model number search it out and find a new part come back up here on the next trip I'm gonna get the get this area all cleaned up and get all these parts cleaned out so all I have to do is put that new motor in fire it up and see if we got heat everything else I think is working good so hopefully that'll help somebody out I'll try to remember to bring the camera next time when I go to put this back in it took me uh, oh, 30 minutes most of that time was spent trying to figure out how to pull that motor out of the center of that exhaust fan over here on the right hand side but so you got the cooling fan and that big fan cage that I showed you that's the blower that blows the warm air throughout the camper this side is the exhaust fan and they're riding on the same shaft the motor sits in between but this exhaust fan blows the blows the exhaust out the out the exhaust pipe exhaust tube it's pretty clean you don't want any cobwebs or debris and stuff in there it'll kind of prevent it from burning properly or exhausting properly I'll get that all cleaned up and then uh, we'll see you guys on the next trip